from Direct University and this first course entitled Guided Reading Part 1. Reading really? And we're hoping to move people to really reading. So guided reading is the reading of an actual book, reading with comprehension, commenting as you read, asking questions as you read, just like everybody asks, you know, what does that mean or what is that about? Make connections to other things you've read and reading for a purpose. Guided reading is not being read to by a person or a computer or an iPad, um, only answering multiple choice questions, reading lists of words and only being exposed to sight word reading. And it is not impossible for a girl with red syndrome to read and, and to accomplish and to be successful in guided reading, which is kind of like a big picture idea about reading. When I did this assessment on Brookie, it revealed that she indeed had some really good reading skills. In fact, she was reading at a solid second grade reading level, that she could read the entire book by herself. She asked for help with a few words. That's okay. She needed time to read and help to organize, and she had a way to communicate the entire time. She was using my Toby, so she had a way that she could indicate, make comments, ask questions, which was very helpful. And lo and behold, she answered the quiz at the end of the book with 100% accuracy. So as a piece of inspiration, I want you to see this video of her reading and see what it looked like, and then knowing that she had this kind of success, it encourages us to keep working to accomplish the same thing with our girls. Right, and all I did was adapt the presentation of the book so that the text was more spread out and easily accessible to her, but the book stayed exactly the same as it would be for anybody at that grade level. So in Guided Reading Part 1, you will learn how and where to begin teaching reading. This is for beginning readers. You'll learn how to choose books. You'll learn how to determine purposes for readings. You'll learn the different types of adapted books. What, what can we do to make the books accessible for our girls? You'll begin to learn about the communication that's needed for reading. We'll flesh this out a little more in part two. I'll demonstrate some strategies and comprehension skills with the girls, and we'll again flesh that out um, in part two and part three of guided reading. And we'll learn to adapt outcomes for successful access for the girls. And so while we're looking at a lesson plan and while we're looking at the goals of that lesson plan, how can we adapt it? How can we make it accessible so that the outcomes for them, what they produce, what they show us, um, is something that is within their ability to show um, so that we know we have the assurance that they are making progress and that they are actually reading in their head and being successful readers. So welcome to Guided Reading Part 1. And welcome to Rett University. I hope you'll be joining us for many courses to come.